Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary, i.e. the hardest difficulty, which might go on longer than we thought. <gasps> welcome. It's a beautiful day. I waited a whole bunch to get rid of that dragon. He was really driving a... Oh. Shadowmare? Who's detecting me right now? That is so creepy, actually. <gasps> Genuinely, who is even detecting me? It is Shadowmare over there. God, so weird. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I wanted to. I want to get this out of the way now. I'm honestly not looking forward to it too much, for reasons I've discussed ad nauseum. But we need to get into smithing. We need to get into alchemy. We don't need to get into alchemy. Alchemy would be helpful, obviously, to make money and to also have certain poisons and potions and what have you. But we definitely do need to get into smithing because we are hoarding these perks. Perk points. We're up to eight now. And uh, so let's see. So, yeah, I, I, we're, we're flying blind here. I've gotten so many tips about this, but it's just, you know, it's kind of overwhelming. You know, there's like 100 million tips about smithing and, and enchanting in the comments section. Um, so I'm going to try to do this to the best of my ability, but we need to increase smithing up to certain levels. We're trying to shoot for dragon scale armor, which should be light. That is a thing in this game, right? I always stick with using unique stuff. So that's the reason I don't know that is because I don't care about making armor. I want just a full set of net, you know, I, I almost spoiled something. I a full set of cool things, basically. So dragon armor and dragon bone weapons at forges. We need 100 smithing to do that. Now, I'm going to show you for the sake of just, you know, for the people that don't know how to do this, like how to actually increase your smithing. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to spend a lot of time here, so don't worry. There's not going to be a whole episode of smithing or anything like that. I just want to show you what I'm going to have to do most likely off camera. So, what is even, where, where do you even start? I don't even remember. I, 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 by the way, I have gotten my smithing and enchanting and everything else up to 100. Uh, I did that in Adronach, getting all of his skills to 100 for the 100%. Um, so yeah, it's not like I've never done this before, I just don't remember, plus there's been patches and, I don't know, changes, I feel like, in terms of what's the most efficient. But if we use the Blacksmith Forge, and if we go to Steel, if we go to Iron, we can make an Iron Dagger with an Iron Ingot and Leather Strips. An Iron Ingot and Leather Strips. Got some good pieces up. Take a look. And iron ingot and leather strips. She's got 27 iron ingots valued at 16 each. We're going to buy all of them for 432 gold. As well as the iron ores. And we're going to buy all of the leather. And we're going to buy all of the leather strips. We're going to buy her lockpick as well. Thank you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Good point. There's a nip in the air. So by the way, we're here in Whiterun at War Maidens. I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. Did I ask you? Then we're going to talk to this man. We've got some of the finest weapons and armor. And does he have... Aha! So check this. Uh, this is why... So check this! Wicka, wicka, wah! I sound like I'm from the 90s. Gosh, that was a little bit cringy, huh? Um, so yeah, the, the War Maidens is good because you have two different people that are selling things to you. So this guy in, indeed also has iron ingots, iron ore, leather, and leather strips. And a lockpick. Good doing business with you. Why don't you guys combine your inventory? You're running the same shop. Kind of odd. Oh, I am carrying too much to be able to run. Fantastic. But that should be fixed in just a second here. So then... Now, there's so many little tools you can use. And I, like I said, I've never really used them too much. What does the workbench do? Use workbenches to improve armor. All improvements require materials. The amount of improvement depends on your smithing skill. Right. So we could improve the ethereal crown... With a dwarval, dwarven metal ingot. Not a dwarval metal ingot. The grindstone just improves damage, I think, on weapons. Gosh, I've just never done any of this stuff. Now, check this out. The tanning rack. The tanning rack is used to turn animal hides to leather and to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. So we have a whole bunch of leather. So we're going to make a whole bunch of leather strips now. Uh, does it really not let me just, like, max this out? Uh, so you can also see it's condensing our carry weight as well. So look in the bottom right. We have, like, 13 leather. Each leather makes leather uh, strips. So this will be really... Uh, this will be fast going. Okay, so that's good. Now we can move freely. Sweet. 
Now, what we also want to do is go over here to the smelter. At a smelter, you can smelt ore and raw materials into metal ingots, which are required to create and improve weapons and armor. So then, we can take all of the ores that we bought. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 this. So we have six iron ore. Each one's going to make an ingot. Just like that. And that's how you do all that. Again, I've done all this before, but just mainly for the sake of increasing my smithing to 100. Now, what is the uh, blacksmith? Okay, so all of this is the same thing right here. Are we missing any apparatus? I guess not. I guess that's it. Obviously, this is different from the alchemy table and everything like that. Um, the only last thing is that we do have potions that do certain things with the blacksmithing. And I need to read them again and see what they do exactly like this. For 30 seconds, weapon and armor improving is 50% better. Greyjoy is biting my cords. Are you serious, dude? Wow, he's really biting them. What the heck? I haven't had problems with my cats biting my wires like at all in a long time. And he's just like chewing away on my Elgato capture wire. Jesus. Blacksmith's elixir for 30 seconds. Weapon and armor improving is 15% better. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm going to equip it, but I assume it has nothing to do with experience gain. Uh, and then we go to the blacksmith forge. We go to iron. We go to iron dagger. You can see we have 48 iron ingots and 164 leather strips, which which means we can make 48 iron daggers. So we basically spam that A button. You can see our smithing in the bottom right, slowly but surely increasing. And there we are. Smithing is at 29. Really unfortunate because that's like right there. And now we weigh too much as well. Uh, we don't weigh too much. I think Grogon's doing fine, although we're not... Honestly, if anything, he would weigh too little. He's he's eating too too little. Now, I think it's like, what? Is it two days that, that uh, people restock their... Yeah, is it, do you wait two days for, black, for, uh, for blacksmiths, for merchants, whatever you want to call them, to restock their inventory? I think that's what it is. I think I remember doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, just constantly waiting two days over and over and over. Now, what you can do is obviously sell all these iron daggers. It might just be one day. I don't know. I'm just doing this to show you what I'm going to have to do and to show you what you have to do if you're following along with me and what, you, you know, if you want to go full out through all the legendary stuff. So we're going to uh, wait another 24 hours here and hopefully War Maidens will have restocked. We'll be able to buy just iron. Well, I guess we want both. No, I guess we just want iron because, yeah, I want to go adventuring after this. Don't want to be bogged down with crafting materials. Uh, but hopefully their stock will be restored and hopefully they're open. War Maidens tends to just get really buggy and weird. Um, the door will just like lock and say it's locked and they won't be open when they Let should be open. You anything you like. Uh, hello. I don't claim the finest weapons and armor. So then we go to our weapons and we go to iron daggers. Each one gives us four gold. So we're going to sell all 48 for 192. Boop. And there we go. Uh, then we're going to go to her miscellaneous and hopefully she has iron again. She does. So buy all her iron. Uh, we're going to hold off on the leather. Stay but sharp. normally you would buy all the leather too. We've got small looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. And this guy does not have any iron. Really? Huh? But he does have leather. So his inventory did restock good doing business with you or maybe there's is combined now. i don't know either way uh this is just to show off what we yeah. have to do here like i said so we're gonna go back over to the smelter and make all of the iron ingots again and then do one last round i want this to go up to 30 because we'll probably be able to like upgrade our blacksmithing and there we are so smithing is increased to 30. So as you can see, it's super duper slow going. Like unbelievably slow going. Smithing is one of the most annoying things in this game to most of our web hmm. get up to Blades, 100. Helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Legitimately. Obviously you could just put in the, you know, you could just you could just use the console if you wanted. All right then. But that's not what I want to do. Now, since we have 30 smithing, Let's go to skills and check and see if we can get anything. So which route do I have to take? It's this route, right? Because this is all the light armor. Can create elven armor and weapons and forages. Yeah, and then advanced and then glass and then dragon. We need to get it up to 100 and then get up to here. That's what we're going for. That's why we saved all that dragon stuff. 
What is this one? 60? Yeah, we need this as well. That's apparently like an amazing perk. So then, we're going to do Elven Smithing. Can create Elven Armor and weapons at Forges and improve them twice as much. But wait a second. How many dots are on the right side? One, two, three, four. One, two, three... Wow, so it is actually faster to go up the left side, isn't it? One, two, three, and then dragon. Whereas the one on the right has one, two, three, four, right? But let's do this, boop. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do all of this off camera, basically. So what I'm gonna ask the entire comment section uh, to let me know is, is that still the best way to increase smithing up to 100? I'll do my own research off camera as well, but if you have any tips on how to basically just increase smithing up to 100 quickly, that's all that I'm concerned with. We'll learn about how to, you know, make some cool stuff later on, get all the materials for it and everything like that. But for now, all I need to know is what is the best way to legitimately increase smithing up to 100? Is it doing iron daggers still? Or I, I know there's something with like, with like gold rings too. Um, I don't remember. I did it with Adrenoch, but I don't remember what exactly we did. So let me know if you have any, uh, if you have any tips for increasing smithing up to level 100. Moving on, a cornered rat. The found were just as puzzled as we are about why dragons are returning. I learned that they are looking for a blade named Esburn, who Delphine says is an expert on ancient dragon lore. We need to find him before the Falmore do. Talk to Brynjolf. And talk to Brynjolf. We will. Now, looks like he's already out here. He's gonna wait until later in the day. Earlier in the day. Be careful. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? I'm sorry. What? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Gather round, all. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed Nurn root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. I just realized we have the wrong quest activated. Uh, we're going to do this one, a chance arrangement. Brynjolf and Riften seems to be involved in some nefarious activities and has convinced me to take part in one of his schemes. Notice the little icon to the left and right of a chance arrangement in the top middle there. Steal Medesi's ring. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that then? No one's seen them in years. Oh God, no. This is already an adept lock, are you serious? It makes sense. <laughs> no, I am done complaining about lock picking. It is what it is. Once we get far enough into a certain quest line, it'll never be a problem ever again. Thank you very much. Okay, so inside the strong box, we have a garnet, hundred, uh, one, uh, fifty gold, 
I wanted to say like 150, i.e. singular 50, which doesn't make any sense. Modesti silver ring and a copper and onyx circlet. But I can promise you that the contents are genuine. One sip of the elixir and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth, everlasting life. We're going to make a save here because with when it comes to pickpocketing, they're really not that nice in terms of just letting you do it at a decent rate. I, what I'm trying to say is that we have, we're have we probably going to have a good chance of getting caught here. So where is Medesi's silver ring? There it is. So notice under the little description there, it says 81% uh, chance to place. So we're going to press X to give. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste Looks like of I time. chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment, just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. 100 gold! Dang, can you afford that, Brynjolf? I'm not even sure what even... What was even the point of doing any of that? What's been going on? Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. A if you think you can handle it. The money's nice, but I don't know. Look, I'll make this simple for you. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. When you make up your mind, come find me there, and we'll talk about your future. Man, I remember one of the coolest things about playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for the first time was um, learning which guilds started where, doing certain quests that you thought might just be side quests, then realizing, oh, this is the start of this guild. And that's what happened right there. I mean, I guess I won't give it entirely away, but it's pretty obvious, I would say. So we have a cornered rat as the main quest, which is what we're sticking with for now. Taking care of business, locate Brynjolf at the Ragged Flagon. We're going to put that on hold, although I'm racking my brain to see if it would be ideal to do this now. I don't think so. The Thalmor are just as puzzled as we are about why dragons are returning. I learned that they are looking for a blade named Esbert, who Delphine says is an expert on ancient dragon lore. We need to find him before the Thalmor do. Search the Ratway for Esbern's hideout. We've been into the Ratway multiple times. Many times, in fact. Now. We know the rat way like the back of our hands, don't we? Although this takes us far deeper into the rat way, as far as I remember. I always don't like this part. I don't like going through the rat way. It's too congested. It's too cramped. I get a sense of claustrophobia whilst traversing through the rat ways. And I just don't like it, okay? But into the Ragged Flag, and I mean, we could kill two birds with one stone. We needed to meet Brynjolf here. Uh, would that be good to do? I don't know. No point to sneak, however. Up, Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer... You're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. But that I wear you for your sources. Don't know why I bothered. This place is a mess. If you were expecting a palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? What do they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How did you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Will I get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. 
We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Any help with Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps Job's at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage like and she'll cave. Then he tips about Kirava. Kirava's yep. stubborn, she but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Bar and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. I'm looking for an old guy, probably hiding out in the Ratway. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Well, why are you telling me about it then? I'll be here when you're done. Thanks. So that's interesting. It told us to go to Veckel the Man or whatever his name is. But because we... Oh, oh, yeah. This is what I always... Oh, never... Strange... Oh, storage cabinet requires key. Now that's kind of interesting, right? Why would a storage cabinet require a key? I just realized what I said makes no sense at all. Lots of storage cabinets have keys. Nevertheless... Way to give up Esbern, like, immediately. No? Man, is it our... Okay, I want to check something. If we go into light armor, and we take a look at the perks, light armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn? Does armor actually slow you down? Huh. You know, I always take this perk, I think, eventually, so I guess I never even thought to care. Doesn't slow... Weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn. Have I been slowing this entire time? Stamina regenerates 50% faster in all light armor. Ooh. 10% chance of avoiding all damage from melee attack while wearing all light armor. You know, I didn't look through this light armor tree because I usually just take it and I was like, well, I don't... You know, we don't need to go defensive and legendary. We just need to go total offense. But now that I'm looking at all of these perks, I'm like, actually, these sound pretty nice. 25% armor. This one we don't care about too much. 25% armor bonus if wearing all light armor, head, chest, hands. Okay, how far can we go? You know what? I'm going to grab these two. Okay, 25% armor bonus if wearing all light armor, head, chest, hands, feet. We're going to take that, and we're going to take this. Light armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn. I honestly should have grabbed that a long, long time ago. And then we're at 59, so if we get uh, one more, we can do this. Stamina regenerates 50% faster in all light armor. And I think that'll be worth it, too. Now, let's go ahead and put on... I like the uh, I like the ebony mail, but it might be screwing me over here by getting detected constantly. So, oh my gosh, I just realized that's why I was getting detected so easily by all of those bandits. Because I had the ebony mail on. Perhaps. Perhaps. So we're going to go ancient shrouded armor. Now we have... This is what? It doesn't even say. Dang, I think we might have to put, like, a jester hat on. You know, honestly, that's fine, though, because the ethereal crown is great, but it's not totally necessary, and plus the perks for wearing all light armor might even make up for it. Uh, instead, okay, so we got light armor, light armor, light armor, and then the only thing is the hat. Illusion spells cost 20% less to cast, but we have the jester's hat. Sneaking is 30% faster better sorry but because it doesn't say armor in the top left just like the ethereal crown i'm assuming that's not going to give us the bonuses so we have to wear something like this so i'll put it on for now loverstone removed no i wanted the ritual stone. how can you see me oh not good not good at all that's not good at all Oh Don't my see? god, they're noticing Elvin's me so easily now. Is the only truth. Okay, let's do this. I think we have our Berserker Rage, but I want to save it. A little bit more. Stop. Are you blocking with a torch? Are you literally blocking with a torch? Enough of that. Whoa! I didn't mean to fall down here. You wish to defeat me? Impossible. I mean, I just killed two of your friends, pal. What do you mean impossible? I've clearly shown that it's very possible for me to decimate and destroy the Falmer. Now, should we hop down there? Where's our goal? It's over there. You can't hide from me. I'm literally hiding from you. And you don't even know what's about to happen. 
Good night. Let me feed on your corpse. Delicious. Man, what would be a better helmet? So yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what would be worth it. We have to go back and get the lover stone. In fact, I'm going to make a note over here to my right because, yeah, that is something I cannot forget no matter what. Um, but yeah, I think we'll switch from the ethereal crown. We'll roll with the full light armor set for now. We can obviously go and grab the ancient shrouded hat. Uh, that'll, that'll do. The ethereal crown is probably more overpowered, but I haven't had to use the most overpowered stuff. If I, if I had to, I obviously would have just used the, um, the one stone that gives you like 25% magic resistance or whatever the heck it was. And we haven't had to do that. Bucket, knife, book, ink pot, stone. No, no, no. Excuse me, what? I vaguely remember this character. We're going to see what's behind door number one real quick. Thank you, lockpicking, for working out. Greyjoy is freaking me out. He's, like, sniffing all around and constantly looking into my hallway. What is up with you, buddy? He's, like, spooked. Knife. Yes. Book. Yes. Bucket. Yes. Ink pot. No. I don't know what that means. Do you need some help? Go away. Go away. Go away. Spare me, please. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think she goes aggro, but she's just running away. I have no idea what her deal is. Oh, God. What's up? What's your name? Jacker? Yeah, I remember there being a whole bunch of crazies around here. Okay, we're gonna feed on whatever, however the heck you pronounce that. He's got nothing on him, but he's got a sweet ass chef set. He's eating a horse, apparently. He's got a grindstone. Man, okay. He's set up. Now, where are you going? I'm going to kill you because I don't know what you're... Well, I don't want to kill you, but you're technically trying to kill me, I think. Oh, thank you so much for the one-handed increase. I appreciate it. Let's feed on Hefid the Deaf. And see if she's got anything. Oh, the bucket. The ink well. Yeah, the stuff that she was talking about. I wonder what her deal is, and I wonder if that's a reference. I don't I don't know what Hefid the Death's whole situation is. Uh here's the door that we're looking for, however. Go away. Desburn, open the door. I'm a friend. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Desburn. I don't know what you're talking about. The Thalmor found you. You need to get out of here. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. Well, this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Delphine needs your help to stop the dragons. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. You can come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. Th this will just take a moment. Right. Take your time. Listen, always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. Okay. Any day now. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now we can talk. Who closed that door? So? Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. But Thalmor found you. We have to get out of here. Yes, yes, so you said. But so what? The end is upon us. I may as well die here as anywhere else. I'm tired of running. What do you mean the end is upon us? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Alduin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. You're talking about the literal end of the world? Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. 
Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. That's not hopeless, Esbert. I'm dragonborn. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then... Then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must... We must... We must go. Quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. Now, did I make this up? Does Esbern actually have some unique I stuff? No. No use, Mr. Trash. Where did I put my annotated annual? One moment. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. Yeah, one second. Just ransacking your place, if you don't mind. Also, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice, uh, what are these things called? It's bl I'm blanking on them. Nice whatever that fish is. Slaughter fish. There we go. I just had to say the word fish, and then my brain was like, ding. Okay, let's go, Esbern. Now, there's probably going to be some Thalmor trying to stop our progress. I'm going to warn you right now, most of my skills here... Is someone there? ...are usually dictated through stealth. And fortunately, this place is lit up like a... Like a... Like a Florida Bayou in the 4th of July! Is someone there? Yes, I know Bayou is more used... Up, more often used for, like, Louisiana. I understand. Whoa! There's the place. Somebody help! No! You can't be here! You're all dead! I already killed you over and over! You're dead! Dead! Salvinius! You wanna help out, pal? I mean, we'll definitely... Definitely could use all the blades that we can get. Get it? Because he's a blade. Okay, let's try to... Whoop! Oh, how dare you see me! Nobody sees me in Lee. And now you're dead! Okay, thank you. Okay, how the hell do you get out of here, y'all? Y'all know the rat way like the back of your hands. I unfortunately do not. Ratway vaults. Okay, so I'm gonna level with you, Asburn. I fell down here from above. I don't remember how to get back. And the Thalmor are mages. What was that? It's not looking too good. And they've, they've, they've already... Okay, I really expected them to be over there. Now, I wonder if we just run for it. Will Esbern appear behind me? Yeah, this is the part that I always get confused at. Also, is there anything unique on the table? On the Oh, look at little baby chests! <laughs> I love the baby chests. <laughs> they do this a lot in Enderal. They just kind of resize the, uh, resize the assets to make them look different. Like they were little baby pigs. Okay, these Thalmor are not too strong. Yeah, where was the... Who are you? Who is Gisser? There's so many people just attacking everybody in this place. Gisser, why does that sound familiar? Gisser's note. Description of target. Orc male believed to go by Grogon Grobalma. Maybe an alias. Alias. Likely to be inquiring about Esbern and the Ratway. Do not approach. Inform your assigned contact immediately if spotted. Huh. Yeah, I figured he had something going on. I, so does he... I don't even know if he was attacking me. Maybe you can only catch him if, he, if you catch him quick enough while he's like running out. It says not to... Oh, he has poison on him too. It says not to approach, yet he did approach. So I'm not sure if that was scripted or what. What is that? Oh, you can summon Atronax. Nice. Okay, Asburn, you tell me how the hell to get out of here, man. This place is like a labyrinth. And I feel like I'm cornered. As if I'm some sort of rat or something. Who is this? Nord. Doesn't even have a name unless his name is Nord. Not the most descriptive name, to be sure. Okay, here's the ragged flagon. With all of our new friends. Make it a mess of the you place. Have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Yeah, I have like 30,000 gold, pal. But I may have some work for you. Yeah, if I come back later, you better be off of the table, mister. Got a lot of nerve. Now, what is this? A warning. Delvin. Master of sneaking, huh? If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. Vex. 
Oh, that's nice. She thinks that it's a valuable Coming asset. Down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we end. The main quest in Skyrim is pretty fun in a lot of ways, but this whole section, getting Esbern, is the part that I like the least. I think we'll perk up when we do more. Two, oh, boy. Should have expected this. There was kind of like an aftershock there. Dude, do the double charge. Rogan, you have to do the double charge battle. Okay, Esbern is... Who are you? So many random NPCs. Who the heck are you? Oh my god. Okay, we have a level up. Let's do that right now before I die. Let's go health. Holy crap, there's still a guy in there that's going to kill me in five seconds. Esbern, you got this, pal. You're clearly a very powerful mage. Want to see something cool, though? Watch this. Where is this guy? He's in the walls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That scared the absolute crap out of me. We're also at, like, 1 HP. What is our HP at? Can we even tell? Okay, please tell me I have some health potions left over. Thank you. Any more? Thank you. Okay, these mages are always the worst. We're gonna mark this guy for death. If we get our shout back. Oh boy, that guy almost ruined everything. So we're gonna feed on him. Delicious, delicious, juicy meat. What do you think, Esbern? What, you gonna judge me now? Like you've never ate and, like you've never eaten somebody before, come on. Okay, let's get the heck on out of here. Where was the shortcut, man? It's not this way. No, no, no. I am not getting lost in a place that I've been through multiple, multiple, multiple times. It's trying to trick me by saying to go over that way, but really, we gotta go exactly where it's saying. <laughs> I just didn't realize, realize it was over in that direction. And we are out of here. Yeah, I do not like that quest. That quest to me is, is very boring. And, um, yeah, I just don't like it. I don't like meandering through the rat ways. Also, where's Esbern? Did he already go and meet Delphine? What do we have to do? Escort Esbern to Riverwood. Looks like dude escorted himself. He's already gone. And that is where we end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get into more interesting stuff in the next one. I guess, which will be a live streamed episode. So again, if you're watching this, well, I guess we would have already done it. Oh man, my recording schedule is all over the place these days. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the patrons at the end of this video that support the ever-loving crap out of me and this channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more of my content, I'm probably live on Twitch right now. The link is in the description below. Come and say hi. Also, if you want to go the extra mile and support me and what I do, consider becoming a patron. Get a lot of perks and all sorts of goodies. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.